about the answers to prayers. Many will be able to see prayers answered. Many will feel God's call for them, and they will come even to be saved. God wants to save everyone. Now I'd like for us to turn to Acts, the uh, second chapter. You still got your Bibles open? Hope you have. Acts, the second chapter. Acts, the second chapter. We're going to start with verse 42. <clears throat> Don't see anybody leaving yet, so I might have a minute or two. So go with me. Acts, the second chapter, verse 42. Listen to what the word of the Lord says. All the believers, all the believers, all of us, devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to sharing in meals, including the Lord's Supper, and then what's it say? And to prayer. Can't get enough prayer, can we? <clears throat> Verse 43, A deep sense of awe came over them all, and the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. And all, and all, there's that and again, and all the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They sold their property and possessions and shared the money with those in need. Now look at verse 46. They worshiped together at the temple, not just on Sunday, not just on Wednesday, each day. They met in homes for the Lord's Supper and they shared their meals with great joy and generosity. And they worshiped together each day. Pray continually, praise the Lord continually, giving thanks to God on a daily basis all the while praising God and enjoying the goodwill of all the people. And each day, the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. We want to know how to build this church. God's going to build it. God's going to build it. He added to the church at Corinth, the first early church, 3,000 souls were added. He may not going to be having 3,000 souls come here. Be good if he would. Can we get 3,000 in here? God would have to build an extra room, wouldn't he? But wouldn't that be great? God is going to do that here. God added to the church because the people were praying and praising God continually. We want to know how to get people to come to church. We just got to pray more and pray more often. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As I said earlier, this message begins with, ver with Psalm 149. You want to turn to that? We're going to look at verses 4 and 5. But here David says, he starts out, of course, praise the Lord. Psalm 149. In the first verse he says, Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing his praises in the assembly of the faithful. We're faithful here. And we've got to keep it up. We've got to keep on being faithful, for the Lord is going to add those he wants to save. <clears throat> then in verse 4 he says, For the Lord delights in his people. He crowns the humble with victory. 
Let the faithful rejoice that he honors them. Let them sing for joy as they lie in their beds. Then he ends that with praise the Lord and starts 150 with praise the Lord. He says, praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his mighty works. Praise his unequaled greatness. Is there anything that we shouldn't be praising the Lord for? He gave us everything and he makes all things possible. And in his time, we need to praise him. And we need to praise him continually. David says, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing his praises in the assembly of the faithful. Sing and dance. Use all kinds of musical instruments, big and small, cymbals that make a loud noise that'll drive your dumb drums crazy. The lyre and the harp. You remember the tortoise shell that I had? I still have that, by the way. Thought about bringing it this morning because it talks about Praise him with the lyre and the harp. Praise him with the tambourine and dancing. Do you all like to dance? That's a way of praising the Lord, dancing because you're happy. I saw a thing on TV the other night. You know these big bridges that have the cables and everything on them and they have where you can walk up this big pipe? that goes up the side and then there's a big platform up there at the very top of that bridge. There was a guy standing up on the very top of that dancing. We've got a new dance going around the country. It's probably not the dance that would be praising God and I'd be afraid to climb that pipe anyway. <laughs> but we need to praise the Lord and that's what this is all about. Praising God for all that he's doing in the sanctuary, outside the sanctuary, wherever we are, that others might see and know we're thankful to God for what he's doing. He says, let everything that breathes sing. If you've got a dog and a cat, maybe a parrot or whatever, have it to praise the Lord also. Praise God for all he's doing. This church, for you and I, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for your faithfulness because God has made it possible. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, we do thank you for this day, for you making it possible that we might be here, that we might be able to read your word, to hear your word, to understand your word and to realize, Lord, we need to say thanks. We need to point our life upward and outward that others might see and know that we are a Christian and that we believe. Lord, help our faith to grow even stronger from this day forth that not a day go by that we don't praise the Lord. And Heavenly Father, if there is anyone here in this service this morning that you might be speaking to, that you're asking to make a decision to follow you, we pray, Lord, they'll make that decision, that their day and the rest of their days might be glory-bound. Now bless, guide, and direct us, for it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.